Hi, my name is Priscilla Fernandez, and I will be sharing my testimony with you today. I was born and raised in a Christian home and was exposed to the gospel early in life. I never thought much of it because I was convinced that since I had the knowledge of the gospel, I had salvation. Growing up, I attended church regularly, read the Bible, and had family prayer routinely. This went on for years, and I thought nothing of it because I believed since I had salvation, there was nothing else to it. Fast forward to the year 2019. I was in a really dark place. Once COVID struck, I felt like life was meaningless. The year after COVID, my Bible teacher at school asked us to think about our faith and said if we would like to give our testimonies in class, we can. I wanted to give my testimony, but I couldn't because I had never truly thought about what I believed. The same day, I was given the advice to pray about my issues, and finally, I felt heard by God. For the first time, I started to think seriously about God. I felt his presence. I was so excited, I decided to write my testimony, and I even talked about baptism. That feeling did not last long. After a few weeks, I was back to living my old life and completely forgot about my testimony and baptism. A year passed, and I was living my life as if there was nothing after death. I had no expectations and did not care what happened to me. In March 2022, my family and I returned to Grace Bible Church after two years. Every week during communion, I would hear about the gospel and the eternal punishment if I did not put my faith in Christ. I was terrified, but I thought I had done something about it, so I brushed it off. Last month, my dad approached me and asked me about where I was in my faith. I was irritated because I did not want to answer any, que any questions about it of fear that I would sound stupid. He told me to think about it, and I did. Over a course of a week, I thought a lot about what it meant to be saved, and I felt I had come to a good conclusion. Christ died for me, and if I don't trust him, I will be in hell forever. I pretty much wanted to escape the fear of end punishment of hell. I decided to think about baptism, and the next week, I spoke to Ram Uncle about it. He asked me a few questions, and I answered them with full confidence, until he asked me about how sin played into what I was saying, and I was stumped because my definition of salvation did not include that. He told me to take a week and think about it, and that is when I finally understood what it meant to be saved. I am a sinner, but I hate my sin. I hate myself because of my sin, and I realize that only through Christ I can be cleansed of my sin. After this revelation, I repented of my sins, and I finally believed in the fact that Jesus Christ died for me because he loves me, and I am cleansed of my sin by and through him. I am not just saved from the punishment, but I am saved from living in my sin. I now believe that I am cleansed by the blood of Christ. He has given me worth in him, and I finally have something to live for. I know I can never be perfect until I enter heaven, but for now I can live my life for Christ. I am getting baptized because I want everyone to know how Christ saved me and how he loves me for me. Thank you. That you, on your own, to the work of the Spirit, repent of your sins, and put your faith in Christ alone for the forgiveness of your sins. Yes. For you, you need to testify of death through the waters of baptism. Yes. In the presence of the Father, Son, and the Spirit, I ask you this very important question. Are you willing to truly follow Jesus the man of God for the rest of your life? Yes. And how by his spirit, you make the Lord come to the day of the Now, based on her confession, you're going to baptize her in the name of the Father, Son, and the Spirit.